Hey friends, it is Susan from Lakes Like Mine and it is coming towards the end of August. So I thought I would give you a little bit of an update about what is going on with the shoes that I am making for Lipedema ladies and also I guess Lymphedema ladies, right? It turns out there is a lot involved in making shoes and I am so happy that I'm making progress and it's really going to happen. So um, I'm just going to kind of go over some of the process. It's long and lengthy, but um, I hired a shoe consultant named Susanna Dabda back in May, I believe. And she walked me through joining like master classes that she teaches and a community of people who are going through the same sort of startup process as I am really gave me a lot of training and helped me to fill out all of the business paperwork that's needed to think about creating a shoe line, right? So she helped me learn about like doing competitor analysis and uh, stakeholder um, work. So we did focus groups with many, many ladies, thank you girls, who volunteered to um, tell me about their shoe wants and needs um, so that we could do what's called user-centered design to meet our need. And we got that information and put together a giant package of everything that we like and don't like and pictures of our feet and our legs and all kinds of crazy stuff like that. And then I was able to send these briefing packages to multiple designers to find a designer, one that's got the right skills and connections and experience and also a designer that's willing to completely disrupt the footwear industry by what we're about to do. So um, a lot of the work I did too was looking at other companies that are trying to do similar things. There's a couple of really great shoe companies out there and I'm not dissing them at all, Pandair Shoes. And then I think there's a new one called Cares. Um, there's some other companies like Silvert's Adaptive Footwear that make footwear kind of geared towards maybe a little bit older or different population than what I'm looking for, which is ladies like me. I still work. I still am active. I still want to look nice, you know, and uh, get out there. And so I'm looking for a couple of shoes that we just haven't had in the past. Um, anyway, so I am so happy. I got hooked up with this a designer. Her name is Jess and she's from the UK and she is amazing. Her resume is this long of companies that she has done their shoes for. And um, in the last couple of weeks, I contracted with her to do the shoe design for Legs Like Mine and for the first two shoes that are going to go out and that will be for the fall 23 collection so she went off and did even more research than i had done to look at different materials and um, she brought on an orthopedic technician to really help us figure out the footbed and the sole and all that stuff and um, she has briefed me this week and i'm just blown away you all by how amazing this woman is. I mean, she has got it going on. <laughs> and um, she's going to make us some killer shoes is all I'm going to say. I'm hoping, I'm hoping, hoping that Jess is available to design for legs like mine for the first five years for each of the two seasons um, because her work is amazing. And so she has, she's gone off and we've decided that the first shoe we're going to work on is the calf boot because there is nothing on the market that meets a calf that's big, bigger than 23 and a half inches to go with an ankle that fits a legs like mine type ankle, like a, a lipedema ankle. It's different than a um, just a larger person who has more standard shaped legs, right? Um, so we're gonna start with the calf boot, then this year we'll do the loafer. And she's already given me some design ideas for the next couple of shoes that I wanna do. Dress shoe, like a really, like a nicer dress shoe um, is on my list for spring of 24 and stuff like that. But um, so she's gone off now that we've, we've made a decision that we're definitely starting with the calf boot with some of the adaptive styles and fabrics and, and you know, materials that she's looking at. She's gone off to draw and sketch for a couple of weeks and then we'll come back and we'll start looking at sketches and see what's sort of aesthetically pleasing to me. And then we will start looking at the different manufacturers who are interested in working in a specialty um, a specialty arena like this. There are companies that make what's called a bigger last. It's the thing you build the shoe around when they go into the factory. And they actually have to make like a deeper last with a square toe box to do what we need to do to fit our feet. So um, we have to hire a last maker, which is crazy. So what a, one of the things that I have learned is it costs between thirty and $40,000 to put a new shoe out in the market like this, especially something that's really custom um, and made for unique needs like this. So um, it's gonna cost me between 60 and $80,000 
to get these first couple of shoes out, but believe me, it is going to make a difference to so many of us. To, uh, you know how good it's gonna feel to be able to put on a calf boot that comes in a black and a brown and maybe even a gray or navy and looks amazing with our work clothes and in the winter time and also provides, you know, wintertime protection for our legs. I cannot wait. And um, anyway, so this last couple of weeks, I wrote a couple of grant requests and got those submitted to different, to the Lipedema Foundation and to a couple of other organizations that support women entrepreneurship. And I put in for a small business administration loan and it's, that's moving along well. They've been having me submit things like a five-year strategic plan and a business plan and, you know, resumes and bio sketches and all kinds of crazy stuff like that. And believe me, they're not tripping me up. I work for the government. I can do this kind of paperwork all day long. <laughs> so um, it's happening. I mean, it's totally happening. And I believe that I should get the first installment of my SBA funding coming in um, within the next two weeks so that whenever Jess is done with her sketches, we can go right to the manufacturers that we're picking and have them start making prototypes for us. So um, I believe that by March of 2023, the boots and the loafers will be out for pre-orders. And that's probably how I'm gonna do it for the first couple of rounds so I don't have to have like a ton of money to buy inventory and stuff. Um, you can just pre-order it and then it will be available and delivered to you as soon as the manufacturers, you know, gets the first round of them done. So that's where it is. It's happening. And the stuff Jess has shown me, the ideas she has are incredible. I mean, I just can't even believe. Not that this is happening because I'm making it happen, but I can't believe that the stars have aligned and the right people have come into my pathway. Just know um, I am going to be asking for Kickstarter or some kind of a crowdsourcing support coming up pretty soon. And um, also there's always Patreon on my Legs Like Mine site right now. You could go sign up. But if you're interested in contributing, I would love to have it knowing that it's going to cost that much money to get it out the door. Um, and then we'll be a part of something great that was disruptive to the fashion industry. So thank you everybody for your support and believing in me and knowing that I can do this. I know I can do this. I know we can do this. And um, also for offering me your foot measurements and stuff. Uh, the focus groups went back out this last couple of weeks and have been sending me like about 15 different measurements of each leg. So it's a lot of investment that, that ladies have been making in this as well. So that is it. And thanks for hanging in there for this long video. I can't wait to come back to you in a week or two and tell you the next things that have happened. And maybe I'll have designs and tech packs in hands that I can actually show you on the screen. So have a great day and I will see you later. Bye.